Hi everyone, Chad here. You're watching the Nomadic Scooter Channel on YouTube. And today I've got out my Outstorm Z80, the 8,000 watt scooter. I had it on the last episode out at Beaver Creek out near Bismarck, North Dakota. I've driven up here to Glacier National Forest uh, in Montana. And uh, excited to take this out on a ride today and uh, go hit this trail over here. So I'll show you a side from the, you can kind of see the sign uh, right behind me. It's Skimma Creek. This is the Skimma Creek trailhead. I haven't been down this trailhead yet, uh, but I'm gonna take this electric scooter down this trailhead and uh, kind of see, I think it leads to a creek. I mean, it says Skimma Creek. Uh, this is just off Highway 2 in Glacier National Forest. So if you're new to the channel, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the details on this Outstorm Z80 uh, real quick, and then uh, take it for a ride down the trail, see where this trail even leads. I'm not gonna ride probably more than, I would say, five miles, so. Uh, but anyway, we'll head down this trail, see how far it goes and uh, how far a few miles gets us. And, uh, you know, stick around on this episode. Right now, though, let's go over some of the details on this Outstorm Z80, the 8,000 watt electric scooter. So the Outstorm Z80 features 4,000 watt rear hub motor, 4,000 watt front hub motor, uh, so dual motor wheel drive. What I like about the Outstorm Z80 is that uh, it's got this like motorcycle suspension in it, so it, it'll absorb a lot of stuff. This is a uh, off-road, on-road, and off-road scooter. Uh, I choose to ride these over say a motorcycle or like a dual sport, like I have a DR650, uh, but this is very portable, an electric scooter like this. Uh, I can just throw this in my van. And uh, when I'm in places like Glacier National Park, where I am today, I can uh, easily unfold it and take it for a ride. And this has a 50 amp hour battery. Uh, it says 90 mile range. So you should be able to get a good 50 miles out of this, uh, depending on the terrain. Uh, so what more do you want out of a portable uh, vehicle? So for me, this is why I started riding these off-road uh, electric scooters was I just want to be able to hit some trails like this and I don't want to have to you know put a motorcycle carrier haul a motorcycle around this folds right up so you can just fold it up very very easily it folds I mean just like that and look at that it folds right up and you can uh, if you lift here or here like this you can pick it right up that's why I'm riding these uh, electric scooters uh, even a scooter this size uh, which you know weighs over a hundred pounds I can lift it right up and I, I don't work out very much uh, I'm not a very big guy I'm like five seven so a scooter like that I can uh, fold it right up and uh, throw it in my vehicle and uh, go hit some trails and do some fun riding. So if you're new to the channel, hit like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, right now I'm gonna get this unfolded and take it on a ride. And uh, we're gonna take a trip down this trail, kind of see where it leads to and uh, check out the scooter. Uh, like I say, this is only my third time getting it out in about the last six months. Uh, I'd worked on it out in Moab, Utah. Finally got it up and going. So uh, stick with me on this episode. Let me get this uh, back folded open again. And these scooters fold right, unfold very easily. Just one under here. That's it. And uh, click in your main. Like that. Okay. Excited to see where this trail goes. I always like to ride a new trail, so. All right, like I said, we're gonna hit this trail and uh, kind of check it out. Okay, here we go. So heading down this trail and uh, this is my first time on this trail. It says it goes to Sh Shima Creek. Uh, I'll have to get the right pronunciation. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I don't want to go too fast because, uh, as you can see, it's very snowy. But, uh, and I have street tires. Now, I've seen a tire that was made for this in a uh, 14. So it comes with 13 inch tires. Oh, and uh, 
he can get a 14 inch off-road tire. So I, I might have to look into something I can do. So I got snow tires when I come to these trails. And uh, like I said, I'm not trying to go too fast because I'm not trying to fall out here and break my arm or something. So I'm just gonna take a ride and check out this trail. It says it leads down into a creek. Um, like I say, I'm in Glacier National Forest. And this is just off Highway 2. This is one of the trails, so I don't know how far we're even be able to make it down it because uh, this is my first time even riding on it, so I don't even know what to expect. It's getting pretty snowy right now, that's for sure. This feels good, this scooter. That, uh, I like it. It is a big scooter. I mean, this is much bigger than the 3200 watt outstorm or the, uh, the now the Cabo King that is a heavier scooter but it's not big like this one oh. but the 3200 watt outstorm I haven't had any issues with that uh, you know, and it is a Chinese scooter, but uh, I don't believe that's made in America. It's distributed in America, not Ontario, California. I don't believe it's made in America. Okay, we're still on this, uh, still on this trail. I don't know where it goes to. This is why you need like snow tires on this thing because uh oh man it starts getting real slick. Okay, look at this here. I'm gonna try and cut around all this stuff here. Go through all these puddles. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like I say, if I had a good set of snow tires on, like tires off a snow blower, uh, I gotta find something that just fits this rim size. And uh, will mount up. So I found I found tires in a six inch, but not a 6.5 inch rim. All right, well, this seems to go back to Highway 2. There were some trails that turned off this trail, and that's probably what I missed. Because um, here's Highway 2 right here. So we just took this trail. Now you can see there's a trail right in front of me that goes down in there. So that's probably a... Uh, Probably one of these trails that turn down and go off, you know, further. It kind of just seems like a like a trail around here. But, but this that 3200, like I say, I've had that one for a year. I towed my Burley Nomad uh, bike trailer loaded with the uh, the generator and um, uh, on some pretty big canyon roads. For a small scooter, okay, here we go. Oh, all this dirt. You see my scooter tracks. Uh, but for a small scooter, uh, that thing's got a lot of torque. Not like this. The torque in this scooter, in this Z80, uh, with these 4,000 watt motors, is twice that of the 3200. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and get through all these all these puddles now real quick, let's see. Uh, try not to fall. I had some good tires on here that weren't street tires. <laughs> it's just isn't set up for snow right now. But as you can see, it's going with no problem. So 
uh, set up or not, we're going with it. So um, here we are. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying, the, uh, oh Jesus, almost went down right there. Uh, that 3200 is great. This is twice the torque of the Outstorm 3200. And uh, okay, now here, here we go. Here's something right here. This is uh, the Skimma, Skimma Creek North. Um, so I don't know if you can, S, S K I A I U M A H Trail Creek North. And uh, see where it goes, where it goes down to. Um, well, maybe, maybe just right here, I'll end the video. Thanks for joining me on this episode. My name is Chad. You're watching the Nomadic Scooter Channel on YouTube where I take out these off-road dual, well, on-road also, dual motor electric scooters on these different trips. Check out the other videos where I'm all over, Moab, Utah, Beaver Creek Lake. Uh, check out the other videos. If you haven't already, hit like and hit subscribe. And I've talked to Mini Motors out of San Francisco. My Dualtron X Limited has come in. The next episode, that's what I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna be picking up the Dualtron X Limited and taking that on some trips. I don't even know where yet, so I can't even update you to tell you where I'm gonna be riding. The Outstorm Z80, the 8,000 watt scooter. As of right now, this is the biggest one I have. I've got the Cabo Wolf King GT, which is around 4,000 watts. And everybody keeps leaving, some people are leaving comments saying it's an 8,000 watt scooter. The owner's manual says 4,000 watts. The motors say 2,000 watts on each one. It may peak at 8,000. Somebody leave a comment below and somebody straighten that out because the owner's manual says it's a 4,000 watt scooter. I've got the Cabo Wolf King GT. I've got the 3200 watt Outstorm, which has been a great scooter. I've had that one a year now. I have beat that one all over, tow trailers with it. And uh, it's been a great scooter. And uh, I've got the Outstorm Z80. So next one I've got coming, I've got the Dualtron X Limited. So the next video, I'll be making a video with that one. If you haven't, hit like and hit subscribe again. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.